trying to test the rig out. I mean, a good burnout. God gave you, taking all projects, building, fixing, yeah, accomplish things with your hands, and you look back at it at the end of the day, you feel good about yourself. It builds up your self-esteem, builds up your self-worth. So that's what this channel is all about, building up your self-worth by blue-collar, blue hands-on, tangible types of projects. But anyways, enough of that. In this uh, post on Craigslist for a minute, and it was at 1500 bucks, and it had a dump bed on it, and he said he's going to be removing the dump bed soon. Well then... I just seen it today and it's down to a thousand dollars and the dump bed's removed and it's ready to be picked up. I thought runs, drives, IDI diesel? <laughs> I'm use it as a teaching thing and show you guys what I look at when I go to look at an IDI diesel. Here it is in all its rusty oh, glory. Deal. She's still nice and solid. More holes up here. Let's get in here and check it out. Found a little bit of extra ventilation down here in the floor. For an 85, that seat is not bad. The dash cap is missing. Oh, but no big deal. It's it's in the storage box out back. No bed on here. Mismatched tires, but that's Turn all right. Signals and brake lights only work on one side. If you just bought it, the cops don't care about that. We've got one headlight, but not the other. Let's mash this. Now they ain't working at all. I'm gonna mash it a couple more times. Ooh, now I got a light up here blinking. Hopefully that's high beams now. We've Let's got see. one high beam, two high beams. No knobs is a pain on the fingers. Heater blows. Let's see if the windshield wipers work. Ooh yeah. Just strap holding the muffler. Should be nice and secure. Off the hood here and take a look, but usually if you're going to buy a diesel ask them not to start it you want to do a cold start in the morning and so that you can check out the smoke and see what color it is. the hood and open it up it says it's got a remanufactured engine so that's got to be good right actually looks pretty clean and decent under here it's not real leaky the batteries look somewhat new they're not super old and toasted uh, i pulled the dipstick for the tranny tranny fluid looked clean it smelled good didn't smell burnt at all oil looked clean and good the oil looks decent looks like oil they got enough of it in there it's not milky if it's milky that indicates a head gas issue looks like diesel oil to me Smells actually pretty, pretty good too. Doesn't smell like a lot of blow by. Doesn't smell uh, super uh, like it's been overheated or hot. You know, you can kind of read things in the oil. You can kind of rub it off, especially towards the tip, and kind of see if there's anything shiny. Kind of rub it like that, see if anything glitters, and there's not nothing. That means it, you, know, you don't got a lot of metal deposits in the oil. So you're not getting a lot of uh, wear in the engine. That's a good thing. Checking for milky oil and milky coolant is especially important. I mean, it's important when you're checking out a car, no matter what. But it's especially important on the 7.3s because they got cavitation. See that? That's good, clean, just green and watery. And no, no foam, no bubbles, no issues. And with it running, we're not seeing no bubbles coming up. your fingers on the fan guys but you're gonna want to pull the cap off while it's running and see how much smoke's coming out of there this motor has virtually no blow by that's excellent for right now as you remove that check it for oil if you want to pull the air cleaners check the condition of your of the air filter element See how they've been treating their motor. And the next thing you're gonna want to look for is a lot of oil up in this area or on 
the bolt that holds that on, and that indicates a lot of flow by coming through your CDR valve at the back. Of your CDR valve, and it basically it regulates the crankcase pressure flow by that goes past the rings down into the crankcase. We'll come back up through this and in through the intake and be reused by the engine. One of the issues that these engines have is the oil comes back through there and it keeps on getting dumped to the back two cylinders and it causes you to have low compression and issues in the back two cylinders. So you want to change that when you get a newer IDI and you also want to look for a lot of excess oil up here to see if that's been going on. Um, I don't see any kind of leaks up here around. See any radiator leaks or drip. Looks like the alternator's pretty new and the voltage regulator deal is pretty new. But I like to 3G swap these old trucks anyways. I don't really like to replace the old stuff. I don't see any uh, obviously hacked or or you know crazy electrical work under here basically all just looks pretty stock except for this which is the manual glow plug button i'm assuming it sells plenty of clearance to run those wires through windows roll up and down door handle work back inside of here check this out i open the door and that light comes on that's rare in an old truck shut it and it goes off that's actually pretty cool glow plugs are down here on a button and hold this for about eight seconds 1000 2 1000 3 1000 4 1000 5 1000 6 1000 7 1000 8 1000 and then it should fire right up awesome Let's see how she sounds brakes go pretty much all the way to the floor <laughs> who needs those? You just need that one. Yeah, who cares? We'll find out if those work later. Let's mash on this pedal. about a mile down the road and uh, this ratchet strap holding the muffler on decided to give way uh, it melted but I figured that's probably a good thing because now the exhaust isn't going straight on to this uh, emergency brake uh, deal and hopefully that way that stays working when you're going for a test drive just make sure that it shifts through all the gears make sure that it downshifts when you know when you need it to get power or whatnot, uh, really get on it a little bit, kind of lug it down and get on it and check out the color of the smoke coming out. This one's really not smoking. It's actually doing really Check out your gauges, see what works, what doesn't. I'm actually pretty surprised at the uh, temp and the oil pressure being somewhere in the middle. Usually they're just completely dead in these old Fords.
of all vehicles. This is the hill going up to my house. like if you enjoyed the video hit subscribe if you want uh further content from me i just try to encourage people believe in what god gave them take on some projects build fix create new art etc haven't really entirely decided what to do with the old yellow banana um definitely want to take this box off thinking maybe putting a flatbed or maybe just taking this body completely off and putting an old uh, wagon or something on there making a apocalyptic mad max cool rat rod so all right you guys hit like and subscribe till next time we want god gave you keep building shit